it would be fair to say that the second interrogation was pretty long. Would that be fair to say? Yes, sir. Do you recall when in the second interrogation you read the Miranda rights? Your Honor, I am going to object again to the form of the question. Um, the interrogation began, the court made a finding as to when the interrogation began um, prior. I'm going to sustain the objection as to the form of the question. It calls for a legal conclusion. That's a question. Did you, did you immediately start the second interrogation with the reading of Miranda rights? No, that is not the first thing I stated to you. First, I explained to you what we were and what I was wishing to talk to you about. And do you recall how long you were in that explanation phase of the interrogation? Maybe around 15 minutes, 16 minutes. So it'd be fair to say that you didn't read the Miranda rights till somewhere after already interrogating the detainee for 15 minutes at least. Daryl, I know you're trying to confuse the jury, and I know you're trying to confuse everybody else, but guess what? The only one that became confused was you. Because he said that he didn't, he didn't even start the interrogation until 15 or 16 minutes. For 15 or 16 minutes, he was pretty much just chopping it up with you and getting you calm and relaxed so he could uh, get you to uh, tell on yourself. Okay, and you know this. You've been in trouble with the law before. Don't act freaking stupid. That's the only thing that I know you know a lot about. Objection. Ground. This statement. Sustained. Calls for a legal conclusion. Mistakes the <coughs> testimony as well. You read, the, you read the Miranda rights after 15 minutes. Yes, thereabouts. Do you recall why you didn't start the second interrogation with the Miranda rights? I'm not required to read them immediately. So those first 15 minutes were verifying your personal information, explaining that I now wish to talk to you about a domestic involving your girlfriend. And then I read them before asking you any specific questions about that event. You're pretty much stating, Daryl, that he questioned you before reading you the Miranda rights, and I know this is in an attempt for you to try to get your case thrown out by lying and trying to confuse people about when your Miranda rights were read to you. Cut the bullshit, jackass. Would it be fair to say that you had already obtained uh, personal information the night before? I had, but I didn't have it in front of me and I have to recomplete the whole Miranda sheet. So I had to refill out the top form of the sheet, which is your name. So I had to verify that. So it'd be fair to say that you had obtained personal information that you didn't bring with you for the second interrogation? I did not have your your information written down at that point. Yes. Do, do you recall why at that time you didn't have the personal information that you had already obtained? No. No, as in? I don't recall why I didn't have it. And you said you started off the second interview with uh, information about uh, domestic allegations. Would that be fair to say? Yes, after reading Miranda, if that's what you're asking. No, I you're didn't. Right. I don't know what you're, what are you asking then? Just so I'm clear. The question was, again, you started off the second interrogation with domestic allegations yes that was part of the beginning explaining to you those allegations that had come forward In things the, i didn't know about the night before
any reason why you wouldn't explain the real reason why the detainee was being detained? At that point, the domestic was part of the real reason why you were being held in custody. Did you have any more knowledge about the incident from the previous night at that time? Are you referencing the parade aspect of it? Yes. At that point, yes, I did. And why wasn't that information given to the detainee at that time? As I explained in my earlier testimony, the idea behind the second interrogation was I began with the domestic abuse issues, um, questioned you about those, and then moved into the um, parade aspect of the investigation. Uh, and why not start with the, all the information you knew? Objection relevance. Grounds. Overruled. The witness may answer. Can you repeat the question, sir? Why would you not start the second <coughs> interrogation with the information that you knew? In regards to the parade? In, t in regards to all the information that you had at the time. Well, as I stated again in my earlier testimony, um, as we began the second interrogation, I explained it was about a domestic with your girlfriend, Erica Patterson. Um, but again, I can't give you all the details because part of gauging truthfulness and avoiding I'm not leading you is not telling you every single thing. Um, I had told you she alleged there were physical injuries, but you know I can't really tell you what they were because I wanna see if you're gonna be honest and tell me what they were. Additionally, telling you what the injuries were for, as far as Mr. Patterson could cause you to create a lie to avoid those. And it's it's the same issue with the parade. Did you speak to the complainant of the domestic allegations at that time? Objection. Um, the use of the word complainant. Um, Sustained as to the form of the question. Had you spoken with Ms. Patterson about the alleged domestic allegations? I did not. So would it be fair to say that that the way you interrogate is your method specifically? Yes. So it would be fair to say that that is not standard policy of your agency? Correct. You made reference to the suspect's um, family. Specifically, I'm referring to the children. How, how were you able to come into the knowledge of the suspect's children? I believe I asked you about them. I'm referring specifically to where they lived at the, at the time of the incident. That was information that came afterwards. Well, actually, yeah, I don't recall. I, I don't remember if you told me specifically where your older daughter lived that day or not. Well, we be fair to say we saw uh, a lot of the second interrogation. Would that be fair to say? Portions of it. Well, yeah portions of it but a lot a lot of it I don't know exactly how much we watch that's really I guess it depends on your definition at, of a lot at any time do you recall it being stated where the defendant's children lived not that I can recollect recollect watching today 
had you seen that video before today? Yes. The second interrogation? Yes. Have you seen it in its entirety? I want to go back a little bit um, specifically to uh, the, the night of the arrest. Um, when did you arrive on scene to uh, Elizabeth Street? Shortly after you had been taken into custody. There was some uh, loitering and prowling. You stated that there were some uh, loitering and prowling allegations. Why? To, to your knowledge, was, were those ever charged? Charged Grounds. Oral, the witness may answer. No. And do you recall why not? No. So why did you constantly tell the detainee that they were being detained for loitering and prowling if you in fact knew that there were there was another reason why they were being detained? Objection asked and answered. <coughs> oh, sustained. That's the form of the question and assumes facts not in evidence. What was the significance of the FBI being present? The significance of the FBI presence was the early on concern that this was a terrorist style event. And you said that this was a terrorist element and what, what is the this? Can you explain what the this is? When you drove your vehicle through the parade and struck people which at the time you stated you did not know as fact, correct? That was still being investigated, yes, but I know that's what occurred now. Now versus then? Initially it was unknown if you drove. That's, that's what I was stated. That was the question. But the investigation show that you were the driver of the vehicle. <coughs> and initially you didn't provide that information, correct? Correct. So do you know if the, the FBI continued their part of the investigation? Eventually the investigation was strictly run by our department. And do you recall why that decision was made? My understanding is there wasn't a terrorism link. I'm sure throughout your uh, career you've done lots of interrogations. Are there usually uh, multiple officers that do the interrogation or usually just one? It can depend on the circumstance. It's not always more than one, but it can be. And what would you estimate would be the normal procedure for interrogation as far as law enforcement wise? I really can't speak to that. I, I think every department probably has their own potential way of doing things. <coughs> Uh, up until that point in your career, when you interrogated the detainee, had you ever conducted a, an interrogation with FBI present? Daryl, 
in all of his years on the force, when he was a police officer and then detective, he has never, ever been through anything like what you did on November 21st of 2021. You're asking these questions like, I mean, I don't, don't you get it? Are you that damn dumb that you don't get it, dude? You really, you, huh, you are the most stupidest criminal. You are the most, mm, you are the biggest piece of shit I've ever laid my eyes on. And trust me, I've laid my eyes on a lot of pieces of shit in my life. Not prior to that day, no. May reference to, uh, Uh, car key being found. Do you recall that? Yes, I do. Did you yourself find the car key? Jesus criminy. You dumbass, jackass, jerk, B-word, every damn bad name in the book. Now you're going to try to insinuate, no, you are going to insinuate that since he didn't find the items that he doesn't know where they came from. He can't prove that it was on you and all that. I know exactly where we're, where you are going with this because I've seen the whole trial. You are just a disgusting piece of crap. No, I did not. Were you told by other law enforcement? I was told what exactly? That a car key was found. I was not specifically. Your items that were located on you during the search were turned over to Detective Stern, and the car key was one of those items. And to the best of your knowledge, you didn't have that information at the time, correct? At which time? At, w at the time that uh, at the time that the detainee was detained in the substation. Thank you for that clarification. Go ahead and answer. I just want to make sure I, un I guess that I understand. So you're asking me what I knew about the key or if I knew where it was found at the substate. I don't understand. Can you clarify that, sir? Uh, I guess the clarity that you may be looking for is what was found and brought into the substation. Okay, the Ford ignition key and other items that I alluded to in my earlier testimony include your photo ID and credit cards with your name or debit card, credit and or debit cards with your name on them. That you did not search and find yourself, right? <clears throat> That's correct. Did you conduct any searches? I don't recall if I did or not of your person. So it'd be fair to say you don't know where certain items were found at the time that you learned of there being items found, correct? No. No, as in? No, I knew those items were found on you in the search. Maybe not the specific pocket, but I knew the officers found those items in your possession. Were you, were you at the scene of the search? No. So how do you know where they were found? because they were turned over to Detective Stern as your property. How do you know where they were found though, if you weren't at the scene? Because I was aware officers searched you and it's not reasonable to believe they were randomly in the grass at the house you were at in a city that you've indicated you're not familiar with. Uh, can we strike that last answer? From the record, I didn't refer to any house grass. Hell no, you. She's not gonna strike it from the record. You asked them the damn question. You got the damn answer. Don't ask a question if you're not ready to hear the truth. This man ain't gonna lie on the stand. He obviously doesn't like you, like most people in the world. Um, you asked an open-ended question. His answer will stand. Your request is denied. So it would be fair to say that in the question, I did not mention a house, grass, or a city. Would that be fair to say? 
you didn't mention it, but I know you were found at a house in the city of Waukesha. And I know you're not familiar with Waukesha because that's what you told me when I interviewed you. Can you strike that last answer? You're looking up to the sky, praying that she'll strike that last answer. But guess what? Good night. Oh, uh, request is denied. And what grounds, Your Honor? You asked the question, he answered it. If you want to limit, ask leading questions and direct him. That is your right. You, made, cross. you made reference to the house where the, the detainee was found, the grass, the city. Could it be possible that that's where they were found? The items that you are referring to? No. Even though it would be fair to say that you were not present. So you're trying to let the jury or make the jury think that your ID and Erica's food stamp card and your cash app card and stuff was just, it just happened to be found in the grass in the yard that you were arrested in. I don't get you because that makes zero sense. You, you did nothing, absolutely nothing to help your case, dumbass. Thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate all the support. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notification bell to all so you don't miss any uploads. Um, check my description if you want to help out the channel. And I'm also trying to find a name to call my subscribers. So if you have any suggestions, put that in the comments below. And whoever... Whoever's idea that I use will be shouted out, and every, I will make sure that everybody knows that's the person who came up with the name. And also, if you want to shout out, make sure you make a, uh, you post a comment in the comment section below, and I will pick one person every day. So please make sure to do that. And again, check the description for a link if anybody wants to help the channel. Thank you very much, you guys.